got it right. This is Will Sanchez. My very special guest tonight is Barbara Mali. I met Barbara at the Nike Town Running Club. She's very easy to spot. Barbara has the biggest smile and the biggest personality in the whole room that she practically shines all by herself. Barbara has done a few half marathons, and we're going to learn her story tonight. So please welcome to the show, Barbara. Good evening. I'm delighted to be to have you oh. with you. And uh, when you approached me, I was very proud of. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Well, thank you so much for coming, mm -hmm. Barbara. Let's get started. As I start with all my shows, a little bit about yourself. Where were you born? A little bit about your family and your schooling. I'm born in 1943 in Berlin. I'm a Berlin kid. My father is from Norwegian family. My ma is German. So a little bit mix up. And uh, my father was uh, a big Vikinger because he was 6'8". So wow. I got this a little bit in my size when I was a child. Uh -huh. I grew up so fast and uh, my mom went with me to the doctor and she said, uh, the doctor said, you, you have to do some sports. He was running uh, at this time not uh, so much uh, uh, Popular. Uh -huh. It was some runner, but uh, for the hearts was swimming. So, Baba, you have to learn swim, and then you have to swim three times as a three times during the week because your heart is too small for your size. Oh, wow. So, and then I started How swimming. How old were you then? Ah, uh, this was so about. Um, Six, seven, eight. Six, six seven, seven, eight. eight. So yeah. this must have been a little frightening yeah. for you. Yeah, I was the tallest in, the, in our classroom uh -huh. with one boy. With so, one boy. <laughs> yeah, he was always staying in the back. The another one, at this time in the 50s, we was, uh, was small uh, girls and the boys was not so tall. But okay. uh, we was the tallest one, so we had to stay in the back always. Okay. <laughs> so, and then I went swimming. That was for me the, uh, the start for the first sport. Uh -huh. So there was never uh, to mention uh, any swim, uh, uh, running, yeah, no, only swimming. I'm familiar with the school in uh, in Germany. So is there an equivalent to high school? And yeah, yeah. We uh, ten grades, also ten years right. is the basic. And when you go to college or university, it started from twelve, from twelve to. Uh, 16, 16 is then university, and then when you become a doctor, then okay, you so go, no. did you mm -hmm. go to a university after? No, no, I stopped in my 10 grades. So <laughs> yeah. you, you're, yeah. okay, you have your high school degree. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. And, and at that time, you mostly a swimmer. Yeah, mostly And you swimmer. had to do it because you had a small heart. Yeah. Because you grew up so fast. So fast, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so then swimming, I got uh, uh, my grandma, she teach me. She went with me always and uh, in swim and on the beach and she said let's go you have to you have to learn swim that, okay. but there was nothing from the doctor with okay. my heart so I did my my uh, freestyle swimming and uh, the one hour swimming okay. so I was very proud because it was so at six you can do it at six when you go into school okay. so not before mm -hmm. now did you any do any uh, open sea swimming open ocean swimming uh, no Just only in no, only private on the beach <laughs> 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 and only the school it was sent okay. for one for one hour that was long long time, you know, so okay. one hour. And, and mm -hmm. obviously it worked, it helped, it helped you yeah. put you in physical condition. Yeah, yeah, that helps. And then uh, uh, on one day in sports, we had, um, you think when you're tall, you can jump over the horse, you know, right. there was a sport horse, and uh, that st stops me then from swimming. I jump on the horse and then fall backwards with my back on, uh, right on the uh, up jump uh, board uh -huh. so and that keeps me one year from swimming oh because you were my, injured for a whole year yeah yeah i had to hang in a string oh my goodness year, now this yeah, is every was, week. this is running a horse jumping yeah, yeah when oh, you jump okay, over like the horse chase yeah, whatever yeah so that stops me a little bit from swimming but when i was finished oh my goodness then, now did you get back on the horse usually they say no, you go no. right back on <laughs> yeah. so no that was finished that was it <laughs> yeah. no more horses yeah, for you yeah. the, te the teacher said no no baba you keep your swimming and that's fine mm -hmm. oh, yeah. okay tell us about how did you make it to, to the United States? Um, then I got married, and I have uh, two boys. The boys, uh, they are 6'2", six 6'4". Six like That's their heights. Yeah, the heights. Six two, six they keep up with the heights. You're, you're, it's in the genes. <laughs> yeah, and uh, Kerstin, she is only 5'6". Five, uh, five, 
five, four, five, She's six. She's baby, yeah. I guess. Yeah, she is the middle one, yeah. Middle one, Looks okay. It's funny when you <laughs> big boys. Actually, it was always my dream because my father went in, in the USA and I lived with my mom. And I say, oh, and the influence in Berlin was very big, you know, all the movies, the sports, mm -hmm. and uh, ice skating. So you always look for, oh, I want to see, I want to see what's going on over there. So in the 19, I visit my Martin. My ma, she went to USA in 1967, and uh, I lived with my children, we had a family, and I say, oh yeah, USA, let's go, let's go what happened. Okay. So in 1990, I went over, I lived with my ma in New Jersey, and uh, so and then was looking for, for work, I uh, learned fashion industry in Berlin. And I uh, was looking at Rockefeller Plaza, but uh, they was not so, this was all for students and everything. Mm -hmm. So, and then I was looking in the New York Times and found the hotel, the Plaza Hotel. Yeah. I started in the Plaza Hotel. And uh, then my boss, he left to the St. Regis. And he said, Papa, let's go. Come over to the St. Regis and uh, you will like the job. So I say, ah, I'm already settled. Let me hear. So, because we don't change so much work, much work. You know, we stay, we stay for 30 years. Oh, I really? That was, that was your, yeah. in your days. You <laughs> yeah, stick, yeah. want to stay with you the stick, plaza. Yeah, you stay. But so, somehow he convinced you. Yeah, yeah. So he convinced me so badly. Good, good, actually. And then I jump over to the, to the hotel. What do you, so what do you do there? Uh, at St. Regis, um, they had a renovation in 1991, and the Astor brother built the um, work for also the special service guests, the butler service. Okay. So we wear tuxedo, and we do everything for the guests. We um, greet the guests. We shine shoes, we prepare birthday parties, we prepare everything that you can dream of. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, St. Regis is a very prestigious uh, yeah, hotel, yeah, yeah. as well it's, as the plaza, of course. Yeah. Well, the plaza has gone through many changes. Yeah, <laughs> they have many changes, yeah. It's it's a lot of fun. And then uh, I work for 16 years already there. The so St. Regis. So you have your team, you have your wow. guests. During this time, were you, were you active, athletically actively still swimming? or? Uh, no. Then um, uh, I moved to New York. Right. I was looking for a little apartment, a little shoebox first, because shoe you, box, know, okay. you don't know where you, where you go, or a lunchbox. <laughs> so I will live on the west side, and uh, I saw the people was running. When I lived with my mom in New Jersey, we always was walking, but running came never in my mind. In mm -hmm. Berlin, running was not in my mind either. When I okay. was running, after my bus, I couldn't hardly breathe in the bus, yeah? So okay. it's, also running was not this, uh, okay. so popular. So and then my mom was walking with me in New Jersey around the blocks on the lake and everything, and then started a little bit running. And so when I moved to New York, I saw the people running in Central Park. I say, my God, let's go. Buy the sneakers and then uh, put your Walkman. At the time was the Walkman, put your Walkman on your ears and then okay. let's go. So and then I started the lower loop. And it took me, yeah, it took me a little while with breaks. So, and then more and more and more and more. So, what Three year was months, this? 1992. Okay, 1992. Okay, yeah. so you started doing a little jogging yeah. around Central yeah. Park yeah. with the Walkman. Yeah, with the Walkman. <laughs> <laughs> Oder then, then I left it because you want to be concentrated. You know, when you when you run, you put this in your mind and then you say, you can do it, you can do it. You know, let's right. do a little bit more, every day a little bit more. Okay. Yeah. And then the business for New York, they have a corporate and uh, they sponsor the runner and there's three times, also three months in the springtime is the corporate in Central Park with 3.5 miles, oh, yes, I the guess. corporate run, yes. Yeah, the corporate run. Right, right. And, uh, yeah. So you ran for St. Regis? Yeah, yeah. We was so about uh, six runner, the bellman and the doorman. Wow. So, you know, he was all tall, you know, so that was, was fun, you know. So okay. after we had a little picnic. And then I was proud, I finished my 3.5 miles. <laughs> and that was the first longest you've done? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so then I kept going. Uh, Simone called me on one day and she said, Papa, let's go, we go to San Francisco. My friend got uh, um, registration for the woman uh, Nike marathon against leukemia to support. Yeah. Okay. I say, a half marathon? I don't know, you know, it's, I never run a half marathon. Yeah, yeah, you come over, buy your ticket, we have the hotels, and then come. With no glue. Well, I had no, how, how difficult it is, how the hills is in San Francisco. Yes. So, okay, we started. So I did my, my pace. My pace is so about 11, 12, 12 and a half, so, uh -huh. so we also did jogging. Uh -huh. 
So and then I say, you guys can go whenever you finish. I come later on. You right, will see right, me in right. hotel. So and I started and I had a good piece in front of me. That's very important sometimes. She had my piece. Mm -hmm. And uh, so and I finished this marathon with two hours and 25 minutes. Wow, now this is a half a marathon. That right? was a half 13. marathon. 13.1 yeah. miles. Wow. That was so Your long. first time. <laughs> yeah. And it must have been very scenic. I was so San proud. San Francisco is beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's very hilly. Uh -huh. Up to a Golden Gate Park is yeah ninety degrees <laughs> high. Wow, you, ninety you walk, degrees. Yeah, you walk actually this way. I was so proud. So was that you your first time you get a medal? Yeah, your first, first bling. Uh, my first bling. Yeah. Oh, wow, excellent. So we was then we went back at the hotel and we had a little uh, spaghetti after. You have what Dinner? spaghetti after? Yeah. <laughs> What's have it before? <laughs> yeah, we had before and after. <laughs> <laughs> I look in the magazines and I say, my God, Las Vegas. Ah. That is that is the good one. So, and I booked my flight the next month. It was oh, in October was the Nike run, and in December was in Las Vegas. This was uh, 2006. 2006. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So and I booked Vegas. Wow. And flew to Vegas and did my next half marathon. Running next to Elvis. I mean, you see that. Right. A... Yeah. Or the Elvis. Yeah. I'm a big Elvis fan. I have to add, add this. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah. Also, a lot of people get married there yeah, too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we, oh, we affirm their marriages too. It's a, it's a very cool race. Yeah, the chapel was always full. I, even on the strip, they stopped on the strip, and they had uh, uh, the priest in. Yeah, so and then uh, they got married, big hug and big kiss and everything, and then they ran further and make a finish line. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then was Mardi Gras. I Mardi Gras, yeah. New, New Orleans. Orleans. New what year was that? That was 2007. I must admit, I've, my history is getting bad. This yeah. is after the, yeah. the big storm, right? Yeah, yeah, after the big storm, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, okay, yeah. so this is a recovery. This yeah. is a helping... There uh, was, you know, the big, yeah, that, that was very interesting to see. Show us how far the water was on the ceiling. You know? Wow. That was very sad, yeah. Yeah. And the, New Orleans recover very fast. It's yeah, unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. It's an international city. Yeah, international. Oh, it's very. And it's great. Yeah. And, and, and the marathons and half marathons help bring people back. Yeah. Great. Brought so the you money did, back. You, yeah. you, you, you yeah. picked a great place to go. Yeah. <laughs> I became a member in the Roadrunner Club. Uh -huh. In 2007, uh, you said? Yes, yeah, seven. And uh, then we ran uh, four miles and five miles. And then I apply for Alaska. That was my first run in Alaska. Wow. Yeah. I say, Alaska, let's go. Mm -hmm. Anchorage. Anchorage is a beautiful town, and they are so proud of all the runner. They visit Anchorage. Uh -huh. They do everything. The finish line is, you got so many support and everything. It's beautiful. Well, another half marathon. Yeah. You meet so many, many friends over there where you go. Okay. They say, okay, where see we ne what's next with you? Okay. okay, we see each other. You don't keep so much. In, in, in touch, but you see all the runner the next days. Then I try to get in Nike, Nike again, but sold out already. Now, which Nike? The Nike San Francisco? The woman, yeah, yeah, the woman race. Uh, in San Francisco? Yeah. Mm -hmm, San oh, Francisco. Yes, I think that's only by lottery or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. You get so hard into it, you know, so now, it was sold out. That's the one where you get a Tiffany medal yeah, at the yeah, end with the, yeah. by, a, by a gentleman in a butler suit. Exactly. So Nike sold out. I couldn't anticipate. So then I signed up for Philadelphia Half Marathon. It was a very good race as well, Philadelphia. Now which one, the one in November? In, yeah, in November. Because they have two. Yeah, and then again, Las Vegas in oh, December. Okay. You like Las Vegas. <laughs> yeah. In 2008, I tried to go in um, Nike. I signed up for November, for October. And I say, you know, oh, there's another race that goes over the Golden Gate Bridge. Sign this up in case you don't get it. So I signed both up. And then I got the July run over the Golden Gate, Gate Bridge. And then I got another one in, in uh, October. So I did both of them. Oh, so you did two in San Francisco. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I guess a yeah. wonderful thing. Yeah, oh, too, much, too much of a good thing, it's yeah. just wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> so I keep going with Alaska and uh, every year. So oh, my so car. you do Alaska every year? Yeah, yeah. Now, what time of the month is that? Uh, it's on the 17th of June. June, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. It's so about the temperature is 54 degrees. Uh -huh. And uh, and the, the, the race and the truck is beautiful. We started in a little village 
and go to the village, then we pass the airport, and then we go until the finish line, we go to the forest. There is so biker and hiker for him, yeah? So you run by yourself and you do totally, you totally by yourself in, in the forest, yeah? Wow. But you have to watch the moose. The they moose. have a little story for this one. So you, because they warn, they warn all the runner, be careful when the moose is sitting in, a, uh, in the bushes, don't, don't say anything, just keep going. They running, especially when they got the babies, uh -huh. then they got scared and then you get hurt. They oh, okay. take you on your back. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so Alaska is wonderful. Okay, did yeah. you run into any moose when you were running? No. You just so gave the me the year, warning. The year after we started, coach came back to us and he said, you have to be careful, you have to take a detour, you have to go up from the biking way, you go a little bit in the bushes. So, and uh, of course, we did it, and from Nike, from, from team and training, one lady, they passed us, put the branches away, and I got the branches right in my nose. I came on the finish line, my nose was already swollen. <laughs> I have a picture. <laughs> well, I made a super picture. So, and then he said, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, everything is fine. So I went back in the hotel, and I said, better you cancel your fly in case something happened. Okay. So I left one day earlier, and from the whole air, from the flying, the pressure, right, right. I came out on Kennedy Airport, I had blue eyes look like a raccoon. Oh my goodness. So, yes, blue eyes, unbelievable. Oh, okay. So I slept them with ice cubes and everything. So when I came the next day in my hotel, and he said, oh, what's happened to you? I say, I had the branch on my nose, so that was my accident uh -huh. from Alaska, my souvenir. <laughs> <laughs> that went away pretty quickly. Yeah, three yeah. weeks was gone, three yeah. Three weeks, mm, oh. yeah. But that didn't stop you from uh, enjoying no, those no. half marathons. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Not only you got to watch the moose, you got to watch the branches yeah, in front of you. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> you have to watch the runner, yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah. Three years ago, Jim, uh, our bearman, he said he always, what we was talking about running. And he said, well, why are you enjoying at the uh, Nike town? Do you have, you come and you sign up, and then they have Tuesdays and Thursdays, they have running, and, uh, and on Saturdays. I said, yeah, let's go, I go with you on Tuesday, introduce me. So and then I got introduced, met all the Pesa, so we was talking. The who was there? Who was Kenley the? was there. Kenley? Kenley. She was, she, was she a Pesa at that time? Uh, she was a Pesa, but there was um, Bruno, and George, he was the main. Bruno Garcia, yeah. oh yeah, yeah he's he wonderful. He was there yesterday. And then he gave it up to Kinley, so uh, because he has another uh, procedure. So and Kinley became then the main. That's right, that's yeah. right. He's doing a wonderful job. Oh my God, she is, she is amazing. Yeah? She is. I'm yeah. trying to get him on the show, but she's oh, so busy. Yeah, she is so busy. She has her own uh, uh, training and everything. I know, yeah. I know. She's yeah. so fabulous. Yeah, well, she is. Good. One day we'll get her. Yeah, we get her, yeah. Okay. So and she, uh, so and then uh, we introduced my, ourselves, so and I got hooked on this very nice group, you know, yeah. Yeah, They're Tuesdays and Thursdays, 6.30, yeah. everybody is welcome, all yeah. levels. Yeah, And uh, on Saturdays at 9 o'clock in the morning yeah, in Nike Town. Yeah, 9 o'clock in and the morning. And the nice thing is year-round. Yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's so, uh, it's funny. To run in the night is different, but it feels good. You're totally by yourself, you know, you run with your runner, you do up the, yesterday we did three times or four or five, six times, you, whatever you wanted, three miles, up the cat hill. Uh, oh, use Cat Hill. Yeah. Oh, that's a tough so hill. That's a long hill. So she gave us yesterday the Cat Hill, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. So with Kinley, is, it's very nice, you know. So Yeah, she is. Yeah. And she knows the names of everybody. everybody. You know, she has this fabulous yeah. memory. Yeah. And actually, she called me when she said, uh, would you like to meet Bill Sanchez? Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. right. Oh, cool. So, and um, what else was, oh, yeah, uh, we talk about um, fundraiser. I had, uh, on one day, I said I, could, I would like to sign up for Nike, for the woman, for leukemia, but was sold out. This is now okay, the Nike? Yeah, that was in 2009. For in 2009. against San Francisco? Yeah, San you Francisco. You tried to do it a second time. Yeah. <laughs> so, and then I said, sign up for leukemia because I lost uh, two friends on leukemia. Oh, okay, to cancer, blood yeah. cancer. So I went to team and training and sign up. And make the big fundraiser, 
and was very proud of, and then I ran for team on training. Oh, yeah. that, that was 2009. Mm -hmm. Nine. Yeah. Cool. So you yeah. have your own yeah. separate little yeah. program, yeah. team and training. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're yeah. wonderful. So you wear the purple shirts yeah, and fundraising. Was, yeah, that was exciting. And, and it's so very exciting because you all go with as a group and you get on the flight together. Yeah. Yeah. And the coach comes with you too. Yeah, the coach came with us. Yeah, so you all, you have the, uh, and the uh, event before, was uh, amazing. Yeah, we were at this big, big expo um, building, with uh, I guess it was, we was forty five thousand runner in in uh, wow. in Nike, also in uh, San Francisco. San Francisco. It's a huge, huge fundraiser. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, Nike yeah. team of training is one yeah. of the best. Yeah. And they raise yeah. much, 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 much oh, money for charities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I've They've raised over one billing dollars during, yeah, during their exactly. during their history. Mm -hmm, yeah. That's great. What other recent things have you done? Uh, recently, it's only running is in my program, uh -huh. and uh, keep up with my guests. Okay. And uh, actually, uh, I talk to Kinley. I say, if I have not the uh, the pace for for being, I have a pace for uh, I can help probably. When uh, somebody new started, you know, and is uh, walk and running, right, walk right, and walk running, running yep, mm -hmm. yep. I can help. Right. So, and uh, try to anticipate all the time because okay. it helps. Well, that's very, you know, nice when you're of always you. there, it makes them proud, and uh, it's so much fun. Yeah. yeah. Now you went to Australia, I yeah. think, uh, this year. Tell oh, us about that. yeah, yeah. It's uh, I was looking in the magazine uh, long distance running. And I found uh, uh, Australia in advertising. I said, Australia, that is, that's a dream, you know? So I said, oh, sleep, better you sleep overnight over this thing, you know? <laughs> so then the uh, next uh, day I say, just go to the travel agency and let's see what uh, Gita was her name, uh -huh. what she said. So we were sitting over there, then uh, she said, okay, you have to you have to break a fly. You fly first to LA, then you sleep overnight, and then you take, because it's a 14 or 16 yeah, hour it's fly. A long yeah. flight. So I put my registration in, yeah, and I came back, so I was approved. So no back anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so and then I keep in touch with uh, all the trainer and uh, with the coach. In, in Australia? In Australia. Okay. So you call in the evening by nine o'clock and uh, then it's lunchtime in Australia. So this is the best time to catch up with, with, uh, with the coach uh -huh. and everything. So and then I say, oh my God, how I get there? What is, what is the best hotel where I can stay? I don't want to be so far away from the, from the finish line or the start line. Right. And he said, yeah, there's a hotel, the men's scene, and this is especially for the runner, so you can go over there. I say, okay, let me see. And then we have a Western hotel. So, and uh, I apply there, so I get the place there because it was, the town was sold out. Yeah. Oh, you, yeah. you applied mm -hmm. to Lakewood yeah. Hotel. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and uh, so I got all my paperwork, everything, the fly was booked, and then I took off to Australia. <laughs> I arrived in Australia, I had to pinch myself, it was so unreal. Sydney, mm -hmm. that is a dream, yeah. It's a beautiful so, place. Yeah. It's a beautiful it's, place. It's, well, hopefully you got to spend a few days before the, uh, yeah. the run to get acclimated. Yeah. I took off on Friday morning and uh, arrived so by um, after 6 o'clock, slept over there in the Sheraton Hotel. And uh, next day I took off with the Quanza and it was 16 hours fly. So, and uh, you have to take a break, so otherwise. Mm -hmm. So, and then I arrived on Monday morning prepare a little bit, run in the Hyde Park, go around in the city, mm -hmm. make sure what is the truck from, right, from right, the right, marathon. Right. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, so, and then I came the race. That was yeah. what day of the week? That was uh, at the end of the week. Yeah, end of the week. Was, yeah that was Saturday. Sunday? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, and then uh, you go on the start line. And there's so many, many people over there, you know, so it's amazing from all over the place. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So we start ever uh, at the bridge. We took the subway. It's one station on the other side. Mm -hmm. then you started the Sydney Bridge. Yeah, the oh, Sydney, that's a the Sydney. Bridge. Oh, Sydney Harbour Bridge. Yes. Yeah, you start there. Well, yeah, that's this is start. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. So and there was, uh, I guess, uh, 15 waves, quarrels, and then we went a little bit to town, and then to the old town, the rock town, and then all the harbours, Starling Harbour, three big hills, 
and then back to the to the finish to line. The finish, the finish line. line was under opera house. What, what, under the what? Under opera house. Oh, opera house. Yeah, oh, that was beautiful. It was so good organized. Yeah, the recovering was then in the botanic garden. They okay. have a beautiful botanic garden. Okay. So every everybody was recovering All in Australia. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, we're almost out of time, but I want to cover, you just did Las Vegas, because that's yeah. what they're wearing, yeah. right? Yeah, that's the last one, that was last weekend. I ran with Mike. With from Mike, Nike Town? Yeah, from Nike Town, and uh, uh, Lippy. So she was uh, not feeling well with her knees. Uh -huh. But uh, so I started running, and then I texted with Mike. It was so cold in the morning. It was only 32, 34. Uh -huh. He was bibbering. He said, uh, Baba, we are there. I said, I in the fifth call. So we catch up uh, with each other. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So and then we started running. Bad. I guess they start very early in Las Vegas? Yeah, they, no, we had to, this time was a night run. It's a night run? Yeah, that was oh. the first time was a night run. First time? Yeah, we Because you've done Las Vegas before, now yeah. you're doing for a night. In the morning, oh, yeah. Oh, cool. The, have, the full marathon started by uh, 4 o'clock, and we started by 5.30. It was already dark, uh -huh. but windy and chilly. Mm -hmm, yeah. Oh, well, the Nike Town runs were prepared you because we run always at night at 6.30. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, so, and then run the strip until the old town. We take some zigzags and then back on the strip. Oh, yeah. now, that was the half. Was there also a full? Was that yeah, the same time? Yeah, there was time? a full, yeah. yeah. Oh, both at night time? Yeah, by oh, that's interesting. Yeah. They did uh, first, they started by four and they make to the whole old town. Uh -huh. And then they came out on the end from the strip at the stratosphere. And then they came back with us on the whole strip. Yeah. Oh, excellent. 44,000 people. How much? 44,000 runner. runners. Yeah. This is a rock and roll run, right? Yeah, this is a rock and roll run. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. First time at night. I'm sure they... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have the, the newspaper, the, 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 the first page for you. You can see it was... Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm sure there were lots of great stories there. But listen, yeah. thank you so much for coming yeah. in. It's a pleasure to talk to you. And I look forward to lots more runs at Nike Town with you. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. I'm so proud to be here and share my stories with you. There's probably more to come with everything, but we keep in touch and I let you know wherever I go. Oh, cool. And then you can work. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Thank you so thank much. You. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah.